Well, Manchester United want to sign Branthwaite. Manchester United have agreed personal terms with Jared Branthwaite, the 21-year-old defender from Everton. But how much is Branthwaite worth? Is he really worth the 70 million Everton want for him? And do they have to sell him before the PSR deadline of the 30th of June? What does it all mean? I'm going to explain everything in this video for you. And I'm also going to explain exactly why United are pushing so hard to sign Jared Branthwaite. So Manchester United are active this summer. We have agreed personal terms with Everton for Jared Branthwaite. In this video, I'm going to talk about the price the 70 million price tag. I'm going to talk about the wages, 150 grand a week. I'm going to talk about the profile. I'm not going to go too in depth in the strengths and the weaknesses because there's going to be a big transfer profile coming out of Branthwaite next week. But I'm going to run through the full story, taking a look at where the reports came from. As always, you can let me know what you think in the comments below. But Jared Branthwaite is a name that has been on Manchester United's list pretty much all summer. Right at the very start of the summer, he was considered a primary target and Manchester United have now pulled the trigger, all right? So the story came from Martin Ziegler and the Times last night. So Manchester United have agreed terms with Branthwaite as Everton demand £70 million. Pounds. United have agreed the terms, but Everton holding out for £70 mil. Can we just say this straight away? Everton aren't getting £70 mil for Jared Branthwaite, nor should we be paying anywhere near £70 mil for Jared Branthwaite. That's the first thing to say. Um, they're, in, they're reporting that the wages would be between 150 to 160 grand a week. Now that was coming from the Times and the Telegraph corroborating and following up saying Manchester United have indeed agreed personal terms with Jared Branthwaite and they're reporting down there as well that Everton are holding out for at least £70 million. James Duck is saying down there that he's a primary transfer target. Now these figures involved, right? 150 grand a week. I'm going to focus on the wages first and then we have a conversation around the price, right? The wages. These can't be taken as gospel. I keep saying that. We don't have access to the contracts, but these are sort of the widely reported. This is on Capology in terms of the salaries at Manchester United. We know full well Casemiro is the highest earner and he should be leaving this summer. So he's going. Varane on 340 a week, Rashford on 300, Martial. But anyway, who's on 150 grand a week? You go down to around about here. Christian Eriksen, Luke Shaw, actually more than Martinez. And a lot of people are really angry at the idea that Branthwaite could come in on more than Martinez. 150 week for me, just my opinion, I think that's pretty much par for the course for a Premier League starter level player at a club like Manchester United. I might be wrong in that. I might be going overboard by like 20, 30, 40 grand, but I don't think it's an outrageous that people are talking about Delict being on like 260 grand a week. Well, that's never going to happen. But 150. I think in United's wage structure, I'm fine with that. I'd probably like it to be like a little bit less than Martinez, ideally, but we signed Martinez from, and from Ajax and the expectations are different. However, the price, 70 million. If I could do like a Leonita, good luck. There's no chance they're going to get 70 million. In my personal opinion, if Manchester United are going to be following this up by going in with a bid, that's where I would imagine United will go. Spoke about it on the last show this morning. Somewhere between 40 and 50. Now, a big thing for Everton isn't actually just going to be the price. It's about how much you're going to give us up front so we can put it in our accounts this year for PSR. So United could conceivably organise an offer worth 50 million that might actually be more appealing to Everton than 70 million by saying that we'll give you hypothetically 40 million up front. I mean, that, that would never happen. But I think that's going to be quite important in the terms of the payment. It's not just the actual price. Now, a big concern I think United fans could and should have around Branthwaite is why would we go out and spend £50 million signing a player who played left centre-back for Everton last season in the Premier League when we've got Lissandro Martinez? And I think that's a fair question to ask. Something that isn't fair to sort of speak about with Branthwaite. It's, oh, he's not gone to Euros. He's not good enough. No, Gareth Southgate's an idiot. That's why he's not gone to the Euros. It's not because he's not good enough. England could definitely... Watch it this summer. I'd be surprised if there's not some sort of defensive crisis and we get some sort of makeshift centre-back partnership. Branthwaite should have been on that plane. But in terms of Branthwaite, right, and there's some debate about where he is in the development of his game. How good is Jav Branthwaite, right? Let me just run through a few things for you here. There are some things he's very good at. And he has, as a profile, 
in terms of him being six foot four, he's got recovery pace. He can play in a high line. He can play deep. He can play left centre back. He can play right centre back. He can also play as an auxiliary left back if you kind of need him to. He can progress the ball forward. But Jules is probably where you're saying there's the greatest strength of him. You can hit, see here, uh, attempted tackles per 90. The further to the right you are, the stronger you are. And the higher up here, that's the higher your percentage is. He's one of the best strong, the best jewelers in Europe compared to I mean, volume of tackles and success. He's physical. He's very strong. He uses that frame to his advantage. And Manchester United certainly need that. Also, in terms of ball progression, despite playing, or maybe you could say as part of playing in an Everton team that sat in a very low block, you can see for uh, all centre-backs who were under 21 in the top five leagues last season, he ranked fifth. Just about, quite a bit above, actually, Lenny Yoro, which is an interesting one comparison. And that's in terms of progressive passes. So that's just jewels I've spoken about and progressive passes. And then on top of that, I want to draw this to your attention, right? This chart here shows overall the comparison of Branthwaite at PSV versus Branthwaite at Everton. And you can see the startling difference because of the difference in style. At Everton... He's got a significantly higher amount of defensive actions because Everton are playing deep and they were in a relegation battle. Whereas PSV, he was able to focus more on progressive passes, on four passes, a different style of play. And he's shown that he can play well in two, in, in completely different systems is basically the point I'm trying to get here, right? Now, something that I think is a fair, maybe it's not a fair comparison, but when John Stones was at Everton, I thought he was a decent player. Did I think he was worth the 50 million that City pay for him? I didn't. And he's gone on to continue to develop. Obviously, coming into that sort of, was it like a central defensive midfield role last season? It, it, John Stones improved massively when he left Everton and went to City. And I would back Jared Branthwaite to improve considerably if he left Everton and join Manchester United. And over the next few years, I think he would just progressively get better and better as a player. I've just shown you there about the sort of, the natural capabilities that he's got towards duels and using his physical strength. Towards actually progressing the ball forward so he can be that sort of deeper lying, not playmaker, but he can progress the ball. I don't particularly see Branthwaite as a partner to Martinez. He can play right centre-back. He played there for PSV. So I think he does have his versatility. And given how big our injury problems were last year, I honestly don't think you could probably sign a better centre-back in terms of ticking that box. Can play left centre-back comfortably. Can play right centre-back comfortably. If you need him to, can play left-back as well. As an emergency. 70 million? No chance. 50 million? I think it would be a pretty damn good signing. Are there elements that he needs to improve? Of course there are. Tell me a 21-year-old in world football who is complete. Tell me a 21-year-old in world football who doesn't need to develop. You can't. There isn't one. They all do at that age. But I genuinely think this could be a very good signing. I understand why United are going after him. 150 grand a week. I think it's pretty par for the course for a, a Premier League starter quality player for Manchester United that was signing from the Premier League. It's coming with a bit of English tax. It's coming with a little bit of Premier League tax. But no way 70 mil. I think United should go in hard and fast giggly, uh, with how much we want to offer. Don't just like go in low and 30 mil and all that jazz. Go in 45, 50 max. If they say no, we move on. If they say yes, we sign them early. But Branthwaite, you let me know what you think in the comments below. So I think it could be a very good signing.